Hello and welcome to Warhammer Wednesday. Hope you're all having a fantastic holiday, time off. This is going to be my review of the Adepta Sororita Sisters of Battle Canoness Viridian. If you've already seen my unboxing, I explain what the model means to me and I go through and look at the artwork where I first sort of saw her. This video I'll be reviewing her and uh, talk about the, the rules and and uh, her stats and things like that. So this is her built. Um, one of these, like I said in the unboxing, will set you about £15. I think that's not too bad. Um, and yeah, unfortunately, Games Workshop have used Finecast for this. Um, there's been, you only have to look on a few forums and you'll see there's been quite a, quite a lot of backlash in terms of Finecast. Me personally, I've never really had any issues with it. If I had, I'd certainly inform everyone on the channel and I'd show the examples and things, but um, this is no exception. I haven't found any any real issues with this. I usually get more issues with um, Forge Worlds resin in terms of bubble slippage, things like that. But um, other people have had negative experiences with it and things. So um, I thought I'd just mention that. Oh, focus. Thank you. Um, so yeah, excellent detail on this model. Um, going to be an absolute joy to paint and pick out the detail, pick out the gold and the red and the white. Um, oh, I just noticed there, uh, just on her right cheek, that um, I've left a sort of gate there, which I should really take off. But I think that that sort of part there is part of the armour. I don't think it's slippage or a mould line or anything like that. Um, as the power pack, because she does get 3 plus save which is um, sort of odd, but there we go. And I did count, there's a total of about 13 skulls on this model. Um, so if you like skulls, there you go. Really lovely model. Um, sort of armoured high heels, they, they sort of look like. <laughs> Fantastic model, uh, lovely detail. And um, just compare it to a sort of normal Space Marine, here's one I sort of painted earlier. Height wise, uh, bearing in mind she's sort of standing on, you know, throwing her skulls kind of thing. She's a bit taller than a Space Marine, but she does have those heels on. Um, but still, it's a good sort of foot taller, um, I'd say, uh, than a normal Space Marine. So she's she's quite elegant. She's got that uh, height to her. Um, she's just not as sort of bulky as a Space Marine. So there you go. Thought that might might be worth something to you. Um, this is the box that she comes in. If you've seen the unboxing, you'll, you'll have seen this. It's a lovely box. Gives you uh, a nice rundown of all the colours and things. Um, certainly be keeping this box for a while, like the, the 2016 Space Marine uh, model. The build instructions and the rules for her are in here, in this little booklet that you get with the model. Um, quite simple, straightforward to build. Uh, not too many issues. Um, obviously you can just use super glue with a with a brush um, no need to wash it uh, in soap or anything like that you can just you can just clip it off the sprues uh, clean it up clean the mold lines and things off take the gates off and then glue it and then spray it and you're good to go uh, so here are the rules for her it does say that she could be included as part of any detachment or formation that can include a canoness and um, she has a the HQ battlefield role and she costs 85 points so no mention of points there but the points are just hidden away in that little bit of text um, and then you've got full details of this model special rules can be found in Codex Adeptus Sororitas which isn't released yet uh, or Codex Imperial Agents which is released um, and I did a re re review of that about a week or two ago and yeah there are rules in that book in terms of Shield of Faith and Martyrdom and Act of Faiths her stat line, weapon skill, ballistic skill 5, which is fantastic. Her strength, toughness is only 3, but she does have 3 wounds. Um, initiative's not too bad at 4. Uh, she's got 3 attacks, which is decent. Uh, leadership is excellent at 10, and her save is 3+. plus. She does have the Shield of Faith, which if you look in the Imperial Agents book, I think that's a 6 plus invulnerable save. Um, she's got another couple of special rules called Clinical Precision. Herself and all friendly units that are within 12 inches of her have precision shots and pre precision strike special rules and the act of faith the passion um, it's one use only it can be used in the players assault phase 
And if it's successful, they all gain the hatred special rule until the end of the term, which is quite decent. So she's an okay sort of um, HQ. She's going to be let down in sort of close combat where a strength um, is going to be difficult to, to hit anything with a toughness of four or five. Um, but she does have a fair few wounds and uh, she has some good attacks. She's only got a power sword and a bolt pistol, so nothing. But she does have grenades. Um, so she doesn't have like a specialist power weapon or a named weapon or anything like that. But she does have quite a few nice special rules that will contribute uh, Sisters of Battle sort of force. And 85 points isn't really that expensive um, for what she is. But like myself, I'm sure most people will be purchasing her just because of the look of the model um, and also what it means to them rather than the, you know her rules. Uh, but they are there if you if you wish to use her in battle. I think she's absolutely stunning model, what she represents, what she means to me as well, um, in terms of harking back to those uh, John Blanche illustrations. It's definitely a, a very nice sort of collector's piece, I'd say, even though it's not limited edition. Um, and it's a great start to all the new uh, Sisters of Battle models that will be released in the next month or two. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, I did put a couple of pictures of the new sort of Sisters of Battle models on there. I think it's Saint Celestine with, with wings that's just held up on the base by scrolls, sort of like a Nagash kind of um, deal. Looks absolutely stunning. Um, and the new sort of tech piece Dominus looks absolutely fantastic as well. There's just so much going on and so much potential. You're painting in metalwork and, and just Mechanicum in general, but... Um, that's over on my Instagram. Anyway, I think it's an absolutely lovely model. Uh, if you can pick one up, uh, I would. Um, don't hesitate. Um, 15 quid, it's not too bad for uh, a model like this, which is very usable in the game as well as an HQ choice um, as a start for a Sisters of Battle Force. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of your holidays. And remember, the Emperor protects.